before I get into it, piece of advice. Never use dry shampoo and then go out in the rain because this happens. And yes, I know I could have showered before I did a beer review, but I'm not going to put that much effort into it, quite frankly. Um, but no, I've got this on New Year's Eve and uh, it's still early on in the evening. So I'm going through some of the uh, the lagers that I was given this Christmas and we're making a, a welcome return to Germany this time. And we're looking at a bottle of the Holsten Pills brewed in Hamburg. Um, I think it is actually brewed in Germany, not contract brewed over here, but I could be wrong. can't really see any information on the label. <coughs> but yeah, 5% ABV in a 275ml bottle. A fairly iconic beer. Um, if I remember correctly, this is a beer that my mum used to drink quite a lot when she was a teenager. So um, yeah, and I'm sure I've had uh, plenty of hangovers from this beer. Uh, funny enough, not when I was in Germany. But uh, yeah, iconic looking beer in a green bottle and that is a really nice crown. I think Holsten also brew the Astra beers, don't they? I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's see what we get with this one. And uh, yeah, this was part of a like Lagers of the World pack, which was a gift from my auntie. And uh, I had the uh, Bavaria Holland Pilsner the other day and that was actually quite a nice beer, all things considered. But then again, I do like a good lager. So yeah, this one I have had before, but I can't remember too much about it. About it? About it. But uh, we'll be getting on to some special beers uh, closer to midnight, of course, being uh, New Year's Eve. Bit of a quiet one this year. Uh, I'm not going to get too reflective. But um, yeah. So, beer in a glass then. And uh, that's what you expect from this sort of beer. Lovely golden vibrancy to it. Nice levels of carbonation, pretty much crystal clear. It's a little bit more distorted because it's in a, a dimpled mug. And the beer poured with about half a finger's worth of a, a white foamy head. So, uh, yeah, fairly standard for what you expect from a lager. Let's see what we get on the nose. It's got that like slight sweet powdery malt character that I get from a lot of these beers. A little bit biscuity cakey you get that sort of like leafy greenness about it as well a little bit herbal sort of like an earthy dry grainy hop character as well no metallic tones no skunkiness no off flavors on the nose but it's not exactly you know screaming out the glass which you wouldn't expect nor want from a lager let's be honest but yeah it's got a lovely gentle floral edge to it yeah, smells pretty damn good so far. Let's give it a taste. Prost. It starts off nice. But on the end, it's got this sort of like corny metallic flavour. Which thankfully, it's not too strong. So it's not unpleasant, but it is detectable. Yeah, it's got that sort of like metallic, rusty coin sort of flavour because of that hop profile. Finish is like a little bit foamy. You know when that's going to sound disgusting, but you know when your mouth's full of spit? That's the sort of like the feeling that you get on the back end. Because it starts out really nice, instant hit of carbonation, fizzles out and it becomes foamy almost. Grainy as hell on the, the malt profile. No real sweetness at all, unlike the aroma. It's a fairly crushable, semi-decent lager. Um, I've had much better out of Germany from the time over there. But I've also had a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot worse from some of the more established family breweries in Germany. So for a, a macro product, I'm not sure if these guys are owned by anyone. Um... Not that it should ever matter, um, to be honest. But yeah, it's got that sort of like, if you wanted to get buzzed off your tits off a six pack, it's got that, without it being boozy, it's got a feeling that it's a bit more than 5% ABV. 
if that makes sense. So you could like sort of have this placebo effect that you get absolutely ratted. But that being said, you could get carried away, especially when it comes to like the warmer months and you chill it down. But yeah, it, it's not exciting. It's far from the best. <laughs> Pretty much an average lager that I would I'd happily have again. I wouldn't rush out to get another bottle or any anytime soon. But uh, yeah, if it was one of those ones where I was in the mood to try it again, or if someone had brought some lagers around and this was one of them, I'd happily you know take that. Um, obviously in like a five hundred mil bottle or can. But um, yeah, perfect size for this little mug that I've got, which is nice. But um, yeah, so yeah, it is pretty much like a half in it, you know, and this is a half pint mug. Makes sense. It, that's not a revelation, Peter. That's very basic maths. But um, yeah, I could happily have a full pint of this, a full 500ml bottle of this. I could have two or three in an evening. Goes well with pretty much any food that you have or good company, uh, that sort of thing. Perfect for summer chilled down. But it is. it has been in the fridge, but it's not ice cold. And there are no real, aside from that very slight metallic-y flavour on the back end. No off flavours at all. So, in terms of rating, I'm going to give this a very straightforward 7 out of 10. So, uh, it's, it's been nice to have a taste of Germany once again. Although it's not the finest offering from Germany, of course. But, um, yeah, I really do need to, this year, 2018, get back on the horse when it comes to German beers. Because I've been missing the German brewing scene so, so much, considerably. And... Um, yeah, for a Pilsner. Well, mind you, is a Holston Pilsner actually a Pilsner? I'm not sure. It's, it's got a bit more of a bolder Heller's Lager feel as opposed to a Pilsner. But then you've got that graininess, which you sometimes don't get from a Heller's beer. But a, a lager, it's a good lager. Drinkable, doable, <laughs> serviceable, and other stupid, unrelated terms. Yeah, 7 out of 10. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. What are some of your favourite beers, uh, favourite lagers, pilsners, some of your favourite German beers, recommendations, suggest suggestions down below. Check out my German lager playlist, check out my German beer playlist for uh, some finer examples of what's available from Germany. And of course, if any of my friends and fellow beer troopers have reviewed it, their links are down below. Check out Holston Pills and whoever potentially may owe them, all those links down below. And more importantly, I hope you join me next time for another review where I should hopefully not have greasy hair. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I should hopefully see you all later. Plus.